Hi everyone, welcome once again in our SQL series. Today we will learn about the group by, order by and having commands in SQL. Just like we use pivot tables in Excel to summarize our data, the same work is done by group by clause in SQL. The group by clause is used to arrange identical data in a group. That is, if a particular column has same values in different rows, then it will arrange these rows in a group. Just like here, north is repeated three times, so it will group together and do an aggregation of our choice. Here, we have done a summation. It can also do a count or average, etc. Let us try to work it out in the MySQL workbench. So here we have a bank database and this database contains a table known as account. And this account table shows the records of the number of account open in four days. Here is the table. Here our question is, summarize the total amount deposited in each of the four days. So we will write the query as, select the weekdays, the sum of amount. So here the aggregation would be sum from accounts and we will group by weekdays. And then we'll run the query. So here we are getting the total amount deposited in each days. Our next query is count the number of accounts created branch wise. So we will write the query, select branch. And here we will use the count aggregation over branch from accounts. And we will group by branch. and we get the number of accounts created in each branch. Next, we will learn about order by. As the name suggests, it sorts the record. It will sort the record based on the value of the column specified by us. It can arrange in ascending or descending order. By default, it is in ascending order. This is our table, and the middle tables has the alphabetically sorted data based on the sales rep and the right table has the sorted data in ascending order of the sales value. Let us try it. Here our question is, display the records arranged in descending order of the amount. So we will write, select star from accounts, and we will simply order it by the amount. And we will write, since it is descending order, so we will write DESC, and then we'll run that. So here we see we get the results and it is arranged in the descending order of the amount. Our next query is how many accounts of each type was opened and we need to sort the result in the alphabetical order. So we'll write select account type and again we will do a count from accounts and we will group it by the account type and we need to order it by account type as well. Since it is ascending order, we need not write it because by default it will take the ascending order only. The work of the having clause is very similar to that of the where clause. That is to filter the rows based on some criteria. But the where clause cannot be used with aggregated function. We cannot use it when we have used group by. So the having clause is used to apply filters to the result of the group by. That is, it will decide which group result will appear in the output. What is the reason for this? The reason is that the sequence of execution of SQL command group by and having comes after the where clause. Let us try this. Our question is to summarize the amount deposited in each day. And we will have to display only those records where the amount is greater than 200,000. So here we will put the having condition. So first we will group by and then we will put having some amount greater than 200,000. So here we get only those records which are greater than 200,000. 
This was all about group by, order by and having. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this was helpful.